Hello Chocks and Chocolates, there we're between Chocolate Birds here for another video review to some of the Nestle Milky Bar Milk Slice. Four pack, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, no guessing about it, it is. <laughs> yeah, so these are from the refrigerated section. I've reviewed a couple of these things in the past, not Milky Bar ones, but um, I think Cadbury ones, basically. Um, wasn't too impressed with them in the past, I can't quite recall what they were now. I might have to, uh, yeah, I'll probably put a link to them in the uh, top right hand corner. Which side is that this side? Yes. <laughs> um, as you look. So yes, um, yeah, so uh, as I say, have a look at those after you've watched it. We're a while back though, so um, yeah, hmm. I don't know, it might be some of my older videos, but um, yeah, so we'll see how these are really. I'm quite uh, excited for them because um, Milky Bar's very nice indeed. It says delicious cake snack made with presumably white chocolate, I guess. Um, yeah, I assume that's what it'll say. I can't actually. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say, but uh, I assume that's what it'll say. Maybe white chocolate. So we'll find that out in a bit, but I'm quite sure it will do. Um, so it's quite interesting. Have we got something here back? Does it say anything, anything more? Let's have a look. We've got the calories there. No artificial colours or flavours. Or flavours or colours, it says. Made with whole milk. Uh, per 100 grams, 406 calories. Uh, 20 grams of fat, 9.4 of which are saturates. Per portion, which I presume is one of the packs, 106 calories. 5.2 grams of fat, 2.4 of which are saturates. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. So, per 100 grams, not too bad. Um, it's usually 500, 550 for chocolate bars. Because it works to six hours from fridge. Um, pack of taste four servings. Each 26 gram portion contains 8 millilitres of milk. Okay, so let's see what else. Let's uh, lift up. And that's interesting. Yes, there we go. That's the description, I guess, there when it zooms in. A sponge cake with white chocolate filling. There we go. Okay, it's ingredients whole milk, 34.8%. Um, do we have any palm oil in there? Yes, we do have palm oil. It's there. If I can get the proper... Here we go. Yes, palm oil. There we are. Anything else of interest? Make it say peanuts and nuts. Yeah. Does it say there? The license as well, does it? Lactalis Nestle. Chilled Dairy UK. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Just an address, basically. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, an interesting one. All right. It's a four-pack, bit like in the Noppers bars, where they're sort of stuck together like this. So it's an interesting one. But um, yeah, I think we should uh, give them an open, really. It says... Um, Milk is our number one ingredient, it says as well. So it looks like a cake with sort of like a milky sense. I mean, what does it actually call it? White chocolate filling. So interesting. Hmm. All right, let's give it an open. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's give it an open. Let's go. Once we give these uh, Milky Bar milk slices um, an open, delicious cake snack we've made with white chocolate, I think it says there. Yeah, so um, yeah, let's give these an open then. Look at an interesting one, as we said. We've got to split them down the middle. So, um, hmm. Yeah, I think they just, yeah, I don't know. I also don't want to break the. Uh, Cakes of, oh, there you go, they just tear off quite easily there, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll see what it says about made of white chocolate, if I can. Indeed, these are a bit uh, difficult to do. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh no, it does say white chocolate with whole milk. There you go. You can see that there. Yeah, so delicious cake snack made with whole milk. There we go. Yeah. All right, so let's give it a proper open then. Yes, <laughs> that was the only uh, questionable thing we didn't think we didn't notice anyway. Yes, yeah, so about I've done over 800 reviews now, believe it or not. Actually, at time recording, over 800. Wow. Um, so if you like this video, um, yeah, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It'd be hugely appreciated. And it's right hand corner, put links to all to a place of all my other reviews. So if you like this one, um, click on that after you've watched it and go check those out as well. <laughs> If I can open this, that'd be great. I can't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Might be able to just tear it, maybe. <laughs> just dropping it now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Kind of opened it. All right. Okay. Interesting. It's quite uh, not easy. Not an easy open, that. I would have preferred that to be a bit easier to open. Okay. It's a bit more. Yeah. I guess it looks a bit more rectangular, this one. It's actually a square. Now, it does. Um, Bit question here, like uh, Kellogg's um, Rice Krispie squares, why <laughs> they can't be this shape, but that's quite nice. It's very much a uniform square. Um, probably a thicker sponge than I was expecting, has to be said. I quite like the way it's uh, quite like the way it's written there. You can see, yeah, it says Milky Bar. A bit too exciting. A bit lighter on this side than the other side, though. You can see there the writing, at least for some reason or another. I don't know why that is. 
Hmm. It seems to have sort of been filled in on this side, um, whereas on the other side it hasn't. I don't know. <laughs> or not as much. Not sure why that is. Interesting one. Hmm. Bit of a sort of, yeah, vanilla-y, milky smell, I guess you'd say. Hmm. Quite interesting. Not too bad. It comes away quite easily. You can see the cake just comes away. Um, the milk filling seems to have a sort of cake layer on it where it's stuck to it, I guess. I can quite see that now, it's saturated a bit, let's have a... There you go, you can see now, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, interesting one. Okay, let's give this a bit of a measure then. So I've got the old uh, calipers. I might use the ruler, actually. I think the calipers might pinch into it a bit too much. So we might lose a bit of accuracy, sort of, but I think we won't have that anyway. Um, about two and a half centimetres, basically. And then, and the width. That's five and a half. So two and a half centimetres height, five and a half in width. Let's see if it's a, is it a perfect square. Not quite. It's about just about five point three now, maybe five point four. Hmm. Okay. Well, if there's much point chopping it in half, because I mean it's pretty much uh, <laughs> as it does saturate a bit there. Um, pretty much. I think you can see what it is all the way through. So I think we should just get into it and give it a taste. So let's do it. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get these uh, yes milky bar milk slices a taste. Yeah, so we've got three of them here, but we have the fourth one, <laughs> which we've got to handy to, handy to nibble. So yes, let's do it. Um, yeah, it looks an interesting one. I'm quite excited about just what it will taste like. Um, into like a sort of, I guess, milk-based snack, I guess, but obviously with white chocolate. Yeah, the uh, sponge is interesting. So quite an interesting look to it. A bit more yellow on that side, the right, and this side, for whatever reason. Don't quite know why that is. Maybe it's filled in with something, maybe, I don't know. It could have been the way it's been made, cooked or something, I'm not sure, baked. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a taste, let's do it. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Um, I mean, boy, I would say a bit too much sponge, I think. Again, like with biscuits and things with a cream filling, it's just, I know they've got to do it to make it work or whatever, so you can hold it or whatever, but I do feel like there's just too much sponge. Um, the sponge is just a, you know, a, sort of plain sponge room, maybe vanilla sponge. Um, Scent is okay. Uh, very soft. Um, it melts in the mouth as you probably would imagine. Mm. I wouldn't say particularly taste of white chocolate. Um, maybe a bit sort of. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. It's a bit ice creamy, maybe vanilla ice cream. Hmm. Who are the top cake part? Get a bit more of a taste of it. Uh, yeah, you can see the consistency there. Focuses in properly. Yeah, a bit hard to see, I guess. But yeah, it's very sort of smooth, very creamy. It's a bit like Philadelphia almost, really. Yeah, so, hmm. Interesting. Well, not unpleasant, actually, but, uh, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to say about it. I mean, it tastes sort of, I don't know, it doesn't really taste white chocolatey. It doesn't really taste milky. I don't really know. Hmm. The sponge is um, a bit boring, a bit dry, has to be said. I think, the, I think one layer is definitely enough. You don't need two. Um, it's too much with just with two layers, for sure. It really detracts from the whole taste of the whole thing. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to say about this. I don't think it tastes um, particularly of anything, really. I mean, it has sort of obviously, I guess, a milky taste, but it doesn't really taste too milky. It doesn't really taste too white chocolatey. There's a vague vanilla Mr. Whippy ice cream sort of taste to it, but I don't know, it doesn't seem to work as well as that for whatever reason. Um, hmm. By which I mean, I don't know, I guess it's because it's just not as cold, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I feel like I make it sound better than it is, really. I just mean it's got like a... I don't know, I think Mr. Whip, sort of like Mr. Whippy ice cream, you know, sort of that, by well, which I mean just a sort of, you know, ice cream that comes from one of those dispensers, you know, you get in an ice cream van or whatever, that nice sort of, yeah, nice ice cream you get, you know, on a hot day out somewhere by the seaside or something. Um, I don't know, just because it's a bit cool and things. I mean, this is from the fridge. It just doesn't seem to work as well as that. I don't know why. You know, it sort of tastes similar-ish. I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it. It just doesn't really have much of a flavour to it. And the cake really detracts from it. There's too much of it. I'll say if you move one layer, it's fine. Um, but two is just too much. Um, it's not an unpleasant product. It's not. It's quite refreshing. It's quite nice, quite different. But I don't know. 
bit of nothing really, just well, I don't feel like I've had much when I've eaten it either. And I think the bit that does make me feel like I've had something was from the cake, and that wasn't very special at all. Um, so I think for me, I don't know, I just think it doesn't really taste of much, there's just not much there to talk about. Um, yeah, so I don't know, uh, it's not unpleasant, it's nice, I think it just needs something else, it needs like another flavour, like say a strawberry sauce or something that you get on an ice cream, it needs something like that, like another layer or something, like a chocolate layer. It needs something else, it's not complete basically, I think that's what it needs, you know, just something, um, just something else, could be almost be anything, like a fruity flavour, chocolate, um, just something else in that in between those cake slices as well as the milk. That's what it needs, and it's missing that. And the result of it, it's just just a bit of nothing really. Um, yeah. So I think for me, it's a two out of five. I think it's not horrible, but it's definitely nothing special at all. It's not an average plot. I think it's just it's just missing something. It's just it really would up it to probably a four out of five. I think if um, if it had something else in there, like a fruity flavour or something like that. But as it is, I'd say it's a two out of five. Yeah. It's just a bit disappointing. It just doesn't taste enough of anything, and there's too much sponge, as I say, for what it is. And I think that would, I mean, add another flavour in the middle as well. That would help get, remove that problem as well. So yeah, so it's, it looks nice. It's, it's it's okay. It's quite refreshing, but it's just ultimately, it's just very underwhelming, really, and just is a pretty much a bit of nothing. So two out of five. Mm. Shame that one, but I kind of expected it to be honest with you. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, check out the YouTube member program, link for that's in the description. Great way to support the channel, it truly is, you get something back depending on the tier you pick. Check out the Discord server as well, link for that's in the description also. Great way to keep in touch with the community, yeah, really, check it out, it's a great thing, it really is actually, it's a lot of, lot of fun and a nice way to engage some of myself and other people as well with the channel. And um, yeah, like my video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as I say. Um, yeah, leave a comment on free, always great to hear from you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye for now. See ya, bye. <laughs>